Hello. All right. Welcome back to another um, holiday card. Let me tilt you down this way just a little bit. So this is coming from uh, a stamp set. Let me show you. All right. It's coming from the Santa stash. This is a really old or older, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Stampin' Up stamp set. And I love Nutcrackers. So um, they used to freak me out and fascinate me <laughs> as a child. So, um, I want to say you got stashing through the snow, nutty or nice, and wishing you, st uh, wishing you a stash of cheer this season and the coming year. However, I also have this one, um, called Nutcracker Holiday from Unity. And so I want to use that image with this one, uh, or no, this one, no. This one, I'm sorry. <laughs> so this one says you're getting nothing for Christmas because you've been nothing but bad. And um, wishing you a magical Christmas and a crack of New Year. And this is the one I'm going to use. Happy holidays from one nut to another. So, um, okay. So I cut these little, um, some of these little dies. And I've cut several, um, several types and colors and things like that. Um. And, but I'm going to do a kind of a tan colored one for right now. So, just need to put that down there. And get this guy centered right up there. He doesn't exactly fit. Like, he almost fits. Like, it's very, very, very close. Um, so, well, maybe he does on this one. Okay. Um just gonna tap that ink on real quick um but uh um the the stash <laughs> the mustache we were going to use is going to cover that up anyway so I wasn't really too concerned it didn't look like it fit but that's all right okay so I'm going to go ahead and take him off I don't normally, um, I don't know, never mind. Well, I was going to say I don't normally break up stamp sets and whatever too much, um, like when I sell them or whatever, but honestly, this is the only one I want to keep, and then a couple of the sentiments, so I might, um, send the Santa one to somebody, so if you guys, if anybody wants the Santa one, let me know, and I'll send that to you. Um, okay. So, I cut and embossed this and this. Pretty little snowflake, um, background there. And we're just gonna do this. And, uh, I think I need to press that down a little bit more. Get my bone folder out. Anyway, so let's start our coloring. And then I went ahead and pre-stamped and cut, uh, an extra stash because we're going to layer that up, hopefully. Okay, so I do want some green. So, um, have you guys had your, um, and if it's too personal, you know, you don't have to answer. It's not a big deal, but um, have you had your booster yet? Or do you plan on getting a booster of whatever vaccine you had or whatever? Um, I had mine not too long ago. I don't know. Let's see. It was actually, oh, it was um, near Veterans Day because I tied it into that so that I wouldn't have to take as long off work because usually um, any anything like that makes me um, sick, like a flu shot or whatever for two to three days. Um, the flu shot actually does even worse. Like, it'll have me down for a week. It is crazy. Um, but anyway, I thought the the booster was like half of regular dose, so it wouldn't be, I'd be like half as sick, but I was uh, kind of sick, so, but that's okay. It's hopefully worth it. If it protects, then hey, I'm, I'm grooving on that. Um, I know we all have our own, our own opinions on all that good stuff, but um, I'm at least hoping, especially with this new variant, I hope it does something to 
towards that. We'll see. Let's go back over it with this because that's a little, a little darker than I planned. But it needs to be dark to match that. I probably should use just a straight up dark green, I guess. Um, but anyway, well, was, the reason I mentioned that was because my fiance had his uh, booster today, and he's already feeling bad. He with his second dose um, of the regular vaccine or whatever, we got Moderna, um, and uh, he didn't feel so great either, and he never gets sick for anything usually, and, uh, but he actually, he did get COVID too, which was real, a really shocker, but, um, uh, but anyway, so with the vaccine, he, he was a little ill with that, which is, like I said, very rare for him. So, um, but anyway, so he took his, his booster tonight and, um, this evening and our local pharmacy and he is already feeling bad, running a little low grade fever and, um, he was calling to say, is it ibuprofen or Tylenol? What am I supposed to take? And, uh, so anyway, I hope he... He feels better. But, um, this card was inspired by when I saw Misty do. Um, oh, I always hit the wrong end. Um, she had a really cute one on there for one of her grandkids and made me remember mine. So her cards are always inspiring me to try something. Um, uh, I feel like it rubbed over the green. I need, needed to use that regular ink. I've got to get it. I've got to get some refills in general, definitely for my black pads and things like that. So, and apparently, uh, I need to re-ink a lot of my distress inks. I don't really, I don't know, when I use them, I'll use them like 20 times in a row and then nothing for like months and months. So they do tend to kind of dry up pretty, pretty much, I think. Um, I don't have all the reinkers, unfortunately, but I guess I'll pick my favorites or whatever and uh, just get those. I don't have any reinkers for the oxide pads. But, and I'm sure there's like techniques you can do with them as well. So there's, you know, there's always that option, but I just, I don't know. I feel like once I use the pads, I'll know more, you know, what colors that I kind of gravitate towards. Um, Cause you don't end up using, like sometimes I'll buy a set when they come out, like whatever the, released colors were and I found that that's not really the way I should buy them it's just what you know more what I'm going to use so that's kind of what I've done with some of the oxides as well just pick colors that that I know I'm going to use or at least hope <laughs> hope I'm going to use so we will see I'm pretty sure I want to do a brown kind of like this to match I don't know, maybe we should do it a little darker uh, for the mustache. Trying hard not to get out of the lines. Terrible for that <laughs> with the little tiny spaces. Okay, let me get some other, some other green. Well, I guess I'll just stick with it. Well, I'll just do it the same way. That'll be fine. So, what are you guys stamping today? Or are you stamping? It's Monday, so Mondays I feel like are bad stamping days. Bad juju, I don't know. Did not sleep much last night. I never do on Sunday nights, though. It's just like, you know, you get used to sleeping in, especially having a couple extra days off here. I got my sleep pattern out of whack. So, but that's okay. I made it through. 
is very, very busy at work today, so very busy. Um, <laughs> so that definitely passes the day by pretty quick. But I should have a pretty easy day tomorrow. I'm just doing a few classes and we're just playing. It's the younger kids, so <coughs> we're playing that game again. Uh, ho, ho, uh oh. It's kind of like having a social filter, basically, or trying to learn a, to use your <coughs> social filter. Oh, the, the mustache makes me nervous. Okay, so pick these. Let's try this for the eyebrows and the hair. I'm excited. My um, I probably should make that the same. Let's see. No. Where did my? There it is. There it is. Um, his little nose, kind of the same too. Did you guys ever have nutcrackers growing up in the house? Um. I've never actually seen the like the nut nutcracker play or anything, um, but I liked him in the cartoons, <laughs> Christmas cartoons growing up. Um, so what about the eyes? Should we do anything to the eyes or? Well, I think we'll just like sparkle it up. Okay, the dreaded mustache. So I've got. I'm not going to use that one. I think I'm just going to go with this one. Yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, and if I don't like the bottom, I can change it when we do the top anyway. I may just do this all one color and not worry about it. Because this is actually going to be the bottom layer, so it really doesn't matter. Um... I can't believe that it's already basically December. I think today's the, what, 28th, I think, 29th? Yeah, 29th. Um, I don't know where November has gone way too fast. Okay. So now I'm just going to get this stash and work on it. But anyway, I got my toward package in, and um, let's just make that fast. I got my buffalo check kind of uh, scarf, red and black, you know. It's kind of just basically plaid. I don't know why they <laughs> have to fancy it up now, and they've changed the name to buffalo plaid. Whatever. But anyway, I like it. And it's very, I don't know, I didn't expect it to be like, El Cheapo, but it's nicer than what I'd planned and warmer, honestly, than what I planned. Sometimes I just do scarves for, like, fashion, you know. I just like them for that. Um, honestly, <laughs> don't necessarily buy them so much for warmth. Um, but so I'm just going to trace over that. Ugh, just a little bit. I like to make it a little bit darker. Um, the kids seem so happy to come back to school today. They were really sweet. It was like, I mean, they were only off like a few days, you know. Um, what were we off? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And you'd think they hadn't seen each other in six years. They're just like, oh, so good to see you again. They're so sweet. They really do make it worthwhile um they uh let's see. yeah i'm not gonna raise this one up this one's just gonna be regular so 
Um, anyway, too bad there's a bunch of crap to put up <laughs> with in the school system. But the kids are, I don't know, they're the good part. <laughs> anyway, a little bit more. Not wait to sleep tonight. <laughs> I want to get this one done and call it good. I was gonna do a couple more and do the red and the I got a white and I like a brownish whatever cut, but I'm just gonna save that till tomorrow night because I'm sleepy. When I sleep though, like when I'm well rested, I feel like I could rule the world. I'm telling you, like I just start thinking about the stuff I can do and you know I'll start random projects and. I don't know, and it's just, <laughs> it's crazy, and then I, then I get back to work, and don't sleep, and whatever, and I'm like, oh, coffee, please, so, huh, yeah, he, he's got to have some sparkle going on here, let me find one, let's do this one, I think, this is one that um, you saw once the other night that Wendy had sent. This is one that Shirley had sent. And this is a super nice sparkle. It comes out, well, I don't know, maybe it's just new and <laughs> whatever, but it seems to flow a lot better than my, my Wink of Stella there that I usually like. I'm going to have to look into these. These are the um, Crafter, it's called Crystal Clear. Crafter's Companion. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, it's nice. Didn't keep the packaging, unfortunately. So, well, that's a bummer. But I'm sure I can find it. And I'm tempted. I did get the glossy axe. Not the little glossy axe. It's open. But I did get a big one. I stuck a, um, a pen in it over here. So that it would still hang on. Um, I need to do... A quick sentiment. I need this sample up for me. Hang on. I gotta get something to punch it out of. So that it is the right color. I miss punches. I want more punches, y'all. I wish companies would not like do away with those. I might have to edge that a little bit with something, though. I feel like it's going to be too plain. Plain Jane. Can't do a circle, though, can I? <coughs> oh, well. So let me grab a block real fast. This will work. So I'm just going to stamp that up real quick. What's your, what would you say your all's busiest stamping day is? Like when you, you know, like get, get the most done. Like, is it a weekend? Is it, you know, when your kids or grandkids or whatever are going to school? Or what's your prime time? Mine's definitely like alone when I'm alone. Um, maybe I should have stamped that in brown ink. You know what? I do have... I do have brown ink. Let's try that again. Just twist that off a little bit. It's not major light brown, but it's called pine cone, so I think that'll be a little less, uh, a little less harsh than the black. Well, I can't really tell much of a difference, to be honest. Ah, well, whatever. Okay. Let's find, where is, where is it? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, let me find some uh, cushion. Oh no, oh there's some. Okay. All right, still 
still use some of this um, Scott foam milling tape. I thought I had a little couple of little pieces left here, but maybe I didn't. So I'm going to pop this up and then I'm going to pop the stash up as well. So do you guys prefer men with a mustache or without a mustache? I don't know. I think, I don't know. I like a little mustache sometimes. Okay. Gotta find scissors. Ooh. Almost knocked over yesterday's water. That, that would not be good. And that took off more nail polish. Not that the nails are really holding up. Whew. I've I've reached the limit of, you know, how I do, like, painting over them so many times, and uh, just keep keep going. <laughs> it'll take another coat. It'll be fine. But, yeah, I think it's kind of reached its uh, maximum coatage. I might have to take that off before, before I go to bed. Change that up to something. But I did put a little gold on that one there and that one. I'm trying to be a little different, but it didn't work out too well. Still didn't stay. Okay, so. Would it look better on white? Let's just, I'm gonna, I'm sorry y'all, I'm taking too long here, but I'll just do one. One in white. Because it might go better with that. telling you that looks black it does not look brown to me but I don't guess it really matters I almost look pretty stamped in green wouldn't it hmm. oh I don't know so let's just put a little puffy tape on that They have all the um, the big pretty trees and things up at school this year, so they look really sparkly and nice as the kids came back today. That was that was a nice little surprise. Um, I don't know who he got to decorate those because we we hadn't, and usually you know we're doing everything. So okay, let's put a little glitter here. before we stick it on. I think it's a lot easier to glitter it down here than once it's got some puffy tape on it, you know. Hmm. It's gonna be tight. Nope, it's not showing except right there. Okay, and we gotta get little tiny strips. for on out because I mean you got to stretch out the stash my fiance um, I have to show you guys a picture sometime he uh, he grew his like this once and did like the handlebars he called it oh my god it's horrible looked horrendous I hated it <laughs> he he loved it he'd have lots of comments I'm like listen it does not like not look good not at all just because you get a comment does not mean they're saying that it looks good. They're saying, oh my God. <laughs> but it's him, so whatever he wants to do. He doesn't have that nail, luckily. <laughs> but, okay. So, I think that's pretty cute. I'm going to call that good. And uh, I'm going to show you, like I said, I, I cut a red one. <laughs> so, I tore that out a little bit. That's not going to to show on the front so um oh guess what well I'll, I'll take that in the next part but um and then I cut like a brown so all right so I'm gonna pack all this junk up finish those two tomorrow night and 
Um, I won't do those on, on camera though, because I mean like <laughs> the surprise is over, right? Um, so happy holidays from one nut to another, guys. I will talk to you later. Bye, y'all.